Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2 and certainly peace and blessings be upon you. This day, I hope it has been. Well into the evening now, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get a take of the Black Woman's Guide to Understanding the Black Man. We're going to finish up the section, The Other Woman. This is take 53, okay? You're ready? And here it goes. Certainly, if possible, he would like her to be extremely attractive. But since that possibility is usually a little remote, he accepts the woman who accepts him. In other words, if the woman has her basic act together, one woman is just as good as the next to him. If she appears, appeals, excuse me, if she appeals to his masculine nature and proves to be sincere, he'll settle down with her and try to make a life with her. Of course, the high-tech black man wants a black woman who is exceptionally good-looking, has special legs or shape or hair length. She possibly must have some kind of college degree. Belong to an organization, be from a be from a good family, or have an important job. This kind of black man seeks the black woman as a stallion, a special breed of female that he desires to be seen with as her owner. His woman is his show horse. He wants to provoke envy or jealousy in other black men who see him with her. This kind of black man is shallow in nature and weak in sincerity. These relationships don't last very long, especially if the woman gains or loses any of her beauty marks. He needs her to boost his confidence. If a black man is in a relationship where he has been faking confidence or being dishonest about his real motivations and is close to being found out, or if he is under pressure to make a major decision or to do something he is secretly afraid to do, he will often just punk out completely and disappear from the scene. His fear gets the best of him, and he wilts at the thought of an honest confrontation wherein he may be forced to reveal his true feelings or fears. So he takes flight. He just disappears seemingly off the face of the earth. He splits. He might leave everything he owned and it might happen at an unexpected time when nothing disruptive is happening in the relationship. This kind of black man has to break free to be his real self. The self he manufactured to be with a certain kind of woman can no longer be upheld. So he breaks. He goes someplace else and pretends that the relationship never happened or existed. He runs to someone less pressured to him. A place where he is not known and where he can slip into an anonymity and never have to explain himself. The black man is sad. He is sad because he has to live with his failure to thrive in a situation that he obviously lost control of and allowed 
to control him. He is never the same after each of these exits. He has to make up a new lie to tell himself. Hmm. Now that does complete the other woman. Our next section is black men who date or marry white women reads as such. Up until 1967, black men could marry white women in the South. It was against the law. As physical institutions became less threatening due to desegregation rulings, the social institutions also crumbled and black men began to stalk the white woman and droves in an attempt to, one, finally get their hands on the one female they had been denied, two, be different and to prove to whites that he was serious about integration and to improve his status in the world. The release of Spike Lee's movie, Jungle Fever, reopen this issue about whether or not black men should sexually integrate with white women. The recent census discovery that over 60% of black females are single, widowed, separated, and divorced, confirms for both, excuse me, the shortage of black men and their absence from the home. The University of Chicago released their own deadly stats from a private study. The problems of the black man in America are known all over the world, and they are ignored for the most part. The black family is shattered. Black men and boys continue to die, mostly at the whims of each other. And neither the sisters or the brothers have collectively confronted these tragic happenings. Black men who historically have exerted special strength in times of nat national conflict are usually quiet, disinterested appearing, black women distracted by the looming responsibilities of trying to be both mother and father, also have abandoned ship, preoccupied with their own survival. Thousands of black men have given up on black women and seek out interracial personal relationships with white women. Some of them consider it a novelty, something to brag about, a way to gain notoriety and go against the norm. Intermingling socially with whites has gained more acceptance by placing black men and white women in product advertisements on television, in magazines, and on billboard ads television sitcoms and dramatic series have also made it seem more natural looking. White men thrust into fictional situations where they are irresistibly drawn to black women for sexual encounters. Black men are portrayed in roles where they are matched with white females as natural occurrences. They are even seen kissing white women and wallowing in the bed with them. Black youth are drawn into it at social functions in their schools or colleges, and visual messages suggesting interracial interest is premiered in many of the rap music videos shown on cable around the clock. It is seemingly all around us, 
unavoidable at last and natural evolution of the growing betterment and cohesion between blacks and whites. Some see it as the cure all for race relation problems. Many black men do not seem to care what kind of white woman they mate with. She can be ugly, bloated, destitute, and look like the shaggy dog, but it seems as long as she is white-skinned, he is happy. The higher-class black man attempts to indoctrinate his white female prize with into blackness by teaching her to dress, talk, and dance black. Others of them do not carry any part of their blackness into the interracial relationship and instead try to pretend that they are a regular, all-American, white boy in blackface costume. Contemporary opinions suggest that love conquers all and that mate selection is a private individual choice and racial Excuse me, and racial separation is an old fashioned, outdated ideal that can't survive in modern times. Interracial love, the mixing of various breeds through sexual intercourse, is first of all against all the laws of nature, which supports self preservation of every life form whereby each is only attracted to its own kind. Nature's system of reproduction and survival in mammals and all human life are mammals is maintained by this separation of life forms. The rule is like is maintained by the wait the rule is like is attracted and mates with like the lion and the common house mouse cat are both in a feline family but they do not mate nor do they even get along neither does the dog and the wolf the horse and the zebra or the chicken and the turkey. The comparisons can go on and on to demonstrate how all other life forms mate within the framework of their own breeds. This process of reproduction does not vary in nature. On the cultural level of this issue, race mixing is a form of ethnic genocide. When a person loves themselves, they are only attracted to an image as much like themselves as possible. Social integration for the black man indicates his frustration and rejection of his own image. No religion upholds interracial marriage. All holy books teach against it. God himself is against it. Separation of tribes is inherited to all historical teachings all over the globe. Black men who are entertainers and sports performers have set a bad example of self-love because over 50% of black men, popular stars, as soon as they become rich and famous, immediately cross over and marry into the white race and hope that it will gain them more benefits, recognition, and complete acceptance into the European, European community. Now that does complete take 53. We will continue and take 53 for our, take 54, for our next take, okay? So I want you to be blessed and have a wonderful evening. Stay tuned, a poem praise too. I will have a different book for you. Peace out and peace be upon you. Later, y'all.